in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the 10 blink code for Panasonic Plasma TVs that were made in 2011. Here are the model numbers on the screen that, uh, that this blink code will apply to. Again, this is a 10 blink code for Panasonic Plasma models that were made in 2011. These following models. Just a reminder that if you have a question about your repair or your TV uh, problem, feel free to comment below this video. Uh, we appreciate when you subscribe and leave a comment with your question and we will respond as quickly as we can. Be sure to include your TV model number, the brand, and the symptoms that your TV is showing. That will help us to uh, best determine the fix for your TV repair and get the response back to you as quickly as possible. Just to go over a few boards here on the TV, over here we have the main board, also referred to as the A board. Here we have the SS board, also referred to as an X sustain or X main board on some TVs. Here we have the power supply board, which can also be referred to as the P board. Here we have the SC board, this can also be referred to as the Y sustain, Y sus, and Y main board for different brands. Here we have the buffers that connect to the SC board. These are also SU and SD boards and can be Y scan drives and different buffers for different brands as well. So here is what the 10 blink code looks like on the Panasonic TV. You'll want to plug in your, t to start you'll want to plug in your TV and press the power button after the first relay click that you hear from the TV. So once you plug it in you'll hear it kind of click and then you press the power button. After you've done that you'll want to identify how many blinks your TV is showing. If your TV still shows 10 blinks then you'll want to replace the A board on the TV, the main board, which is located over here. If your TV switches to blinking 14 times, then you'll want to replace the power supply board, which is located right here. So again, you'll plug in your TV. After you hear that first relay click, you'll want to hit the power button on your TV and then count the number of blinks. If your blink code continues to be 10, you'll want to replace the main board, the A main board, which is right over here, if the blink code changes to 14, you'll want to replace the power supply board, which is right here. Now before removing these boards or replacing them, you'll want to do a few things. You'll want to turn off your TV, unplug it from any power. You'll also want to make sure that you've grounded yourself properly so that you don't damage any of the boards or the TV. Then after that you'll want to go ahead and remove these cables one by one from the board as we go around here. After you've removed all the cables then you can undo the screws here with a screwdriver. Your board will simply come off and then you can replace it with a new board. Put the screws back in to secure it to the chassis. And then put the cables back together on your replacement board.
Now you have replaced your board and you want to put the back cover back on the TV and turn on the TV to see if it is working properly. Thanks for watching our Panasonic Plasma 10 Blink Code video for 2011. Again, these are the following models that this video will work for. Please remember if you have a question to comment below the video in the comment section. Please include your TV model number, the symptoms that your TV is showing, and any other details that you think will be necessary for us to identify a, repl a replacement part for you. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button 